Hello everyone, I'm Iron Phoenix and welcome to Industrial Craft Q&A. So, we have a couple of questions to answer. The first is from Emerson Wanderley. He wants to know, do you have any IC2 machine knowledge? Yes. Yes, Emerson, yes I do. And uh, Blink the Gamer asks, how do you, uh, sorry, how do you turn MB of UU matter into ender pearls? Thanks. So, how you make things in uh, industrial craft is pretty much the same as anything else. So I have done a video on this, but I will just reiterate. You put items in your scanner, and it scans things. You put scrap and power into a, a mass fabricator, and it makes you mass. You put that mass into a replicator somehow, and then you can use a pattern storage to store all your stuff and like so and then replicate it like that but you can't do ender pearls there seems to be a finite list of things that you can scan but if you scan, try to scan an ender pearl it will throw you an error um, if you try and scan dirt, cobblestone, diamonds should work and there are I haven't actually tested that, and Iridium, those should all work fine. Um, there's probably others that you can mess around with, Cactus probably works, and String, and Will, and uh, Will doesn't, I don't think, but String should do. Um, so that's the scanner, not everything will scan, um, Enderpearls are one of those things that just won't scan. This may change, of course. It is experimental, so things are liable to change. Um, things have changed in the past week or so. I haven't got the latest build, but let me just go through some stuff. Um, so, the latest build is now 344. Basically, what happened was that um, scrap value has been changed, and then uh, Greg managed to break something quite major and then spent four builds trying to fix it. That's pretty much all that's happened. So it's not worth me up updating until there's actually some big ma major change. So, yeah, that's, that's that really. If anybody has any questions, please be as descriptive as possible. Um, so, Emerson Wonderly. Um, if you would like to um, expand on that I would be all too happy to do a video or just reply in chat whatever with some more descriptive information about a specific machine that you're having trouble with um, but just try to specify a little bit more and that would be great so I'm about to show you something else in a second but um, let me just kind of Set that up. And I said I'd be back, and I am. Here is a diamond maker. So, yes, you can make diamonds using your UU matter, or you could just combine a whole bunch of mods and do it with far less energy and just general mining power and so on and so forth. So, what you need to make your diamond is 64 coal, um, 4 clay, and 1 piece of. Uh, no, 8. I don't know. 64 coal, 8 flint, and 1. Uh, 8 flint and 4 clay. And here is the machine that makes the stuff. So, the gravel goes in here. So let's put in some gravel. Let's put in a lot of gravel. So all the gravel goes in there. Next in here goes all of the coal. Not charcoal. Just all the coal goes in there. And then in here goes your clay. So, the clay 
is taken into the electric furnace where it's baked into bricks where it's turned into a into a, a brick block and then it's taken along here and it's put in the center of here where it gets turned into diamonds which come out here your coal gets macerated into coal dust which goes into the auto workbench which com combines it with the flint that's coming out of there so the gravel gets turned into flint to make your coal ball then that's going through here and it's being compressed into compressed coal balls and then that's the final one and then it all gets compressed in, into here and that's how you make diamonds and that's how I make diamonds on um, servers when I've got loads of coal and not enough um, diamond sort of going on mining trips and make some diamonds it's easier so if you are playing industrial craft 2 now and you think oh god everything requires so much diamond to make your own you don't need a UU matter um, system to do it um, most of this you I think the probably the most expensive parts of it is probably the RTG because well I just use that because it's a simpler way but you can use any kind of method here you could use um, coal or any any kind of power generation really um, so without the RTG the the most you know the, the, these machines are probably the most expensive parts and of course you've got to keep it stocked with materials but that's like a far easier mining trip because chances are you're going to get a lot more coal out of the ground than you are going to get diamonds so that's it um, that's my sort of Christmas present to everyone I, uh, and I will just leave it there um, okay so we'll just go through this so that one is an electric furnace and these two are macerators and then these two here are compressors so I will leave it with that so you can see everything so I will leave you with this thank you everyone for watching and I will see you next time